Misses put me on a task yesterday. I didn't film the start, but I've made some decent progress. I'll show you. This is the window of my shed. I've added that steel there as a, a waterproofing. I added a steel up there as like a, a drip eyebrow. And I've added that uh, timber there as a window sill. Cut in nicely around the grooves in the corrugated iron. Now I'm going to do the rest of the frame. Uh, I don't need it for my shed, but it's right in line line of sight of the lounge room window up there. So she wants a nice window to look at. So any improvement on my shed, I'm not going to complain about it. But look at that view! Where did I show you that view this morning? Stunning! Oh, another thing. That view has changed somewhat. Used to be a tree there. But we had very windy storms at the end of June. And it split up high. It was in danger of falling down. So we cut it. Uh, I'm hoping we've left a tall stump there as a bit of a feature. And I'm hoping it will actually regrow have some sprouts coming out of it and make it like a, a hairy bush but anyway that changes our outlook and aspect and general view but thanks to the wind storms
perfect. But it's nice. Well, or the real test, of course, would be when I go upstairs and look at it. Now, tell the camera what you really think about that beautiful frame. I think it looks nice, but it hasn't got the architraves around like it, I thought it would have. So you wanted a flat frame, not a proud frame? Yeah, like a normal window. <laughs> <laughs> but it still looks lovely. It's not, but I think it would look better, even like you don't, obviously the bottom is done. That bottom bit's fine, but you could do a just over the top like that. So essentially you wanted something like this. Why couldn't you do that in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect, Brian. Perfect. That'll do. That's exactly right. Yeah. Great. That's great. Okay. Thank you. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Good.